Guys, happy Trisha Tuesday again. I'm here yet again. It's just gonna keep happening, so I think you guys should subscribe by now. I'm going to be taking you guys with me today to show you what I've been up to pretty much for the past year now since I've been back home in Arizona. But before I do that, I wanna show you what I got in the mail. This is my little Teddy Blake bag. Like, how stupid cute is this? If you know me or you're close to me, you know that I love small mini things. My two best friends are tiny, and I can actually keep them in my purse. Eden and Ravina right here. So Teddy Blake sent this to me. I've been wearing this bag for over a month and it's still in great condition. I can honestly say this is one of my favorite bags. It's made in Italy. This is all real leather. It feels really, really good. My favorite color is red, as you can tell by my nails and the inside is red and I love that it's got like a cute little gold hardware piece right here and it hasn't faded off like it's still in excellent condition and I am really rough with my bag so I need them to last and it has adjustable straps right here with the gold hardware kind of wish I got a little bigger version because they have all different sizes of this bag I also got a card holder from Teddy Blake and this one is I think this is like red crocodile but this is a really good card holder because it holds almost all of my cards that I need and then it has like a little pocket I put my receipts and like cash that I have I love the quality but like the little letters are starting to kind of come out but I mean I don't really care that much about that so what I normally fit in here is this card holder which has everything that I pretty much need my mask obviously it's folded up <laughs> my lip gloss shout out to Fenty Beauty by Rihanna this is my favorite lip gloss ever and my keys so that pretty much like fills it up but I also put my phone in here however my phone doesn't fit all the way so it just sticks out a little bit shout out to Bubba Town. I'm just repping everybody that I love today that's the only con of this bag is that the phone sticks out I would definitely recommend getting this bag if you just want something super super cute good quality and you don't pay like an enormous amount of money for it because this was actually really affordable and all of their bags are really affordable and it's real leather okay so when I'm like just shopping and stuff I'll wear my bag just on my shoulder but if I'm in like a crowded place or something or I need to use my arms a lot and I need it to be secure I'll wear it as a crossbody like this and then you can also adjust the straps again okay now come with me and let's start our day okay we are here ready for the day I'm here at our flower shop web de floors and I will show you a typical day and what I do throughout the week what I've been busy doing for the past 2020 I want to say ever since I came back home I've been here quite a lot this has taken up a lot of my time and so I will walk you through everything that I do in a day here at the flower shop First rule of order is this shop is a disaster so I have to clean it up and make sure that it's ready to go because not only do I want it to look nice for myself when I'm working here but also we've recently opened back up to the public so people can walk in and I do not want them walking in on a hot ass mess in here so let's clean. But they never really understand me. I need a comma like I need a Grammy. She needs to flow with a designer panties. Yeah, we eat plenty, check the pantry from the sound waves to the rebel lines from the tattered bridges to expensive dishes. Now we eat ends with these new beginnings. Yeah, the sound of nature. Flowers are bank. here for the daily order. That's a penitentiary. Nice sky, but my inside is in mighty flashy with a bird's eye. Scribble gems to get my pockets lined till I get arthritis. My heart is icy, walking past the bouncer like I knew somebody. Acrylic, hell and cloudy, or the poison ivy. But from like a stroller with a coast sign, me, I don't even like me. No, I'm staring in the mirror in different poses. What did I do? What have I done? Oh no. I love these. Hi, Freddy. Okay, so all my boxes are ready, and I'm about to uh, make the arrangements in the boxes, but it's like 12.30, and we hired someone new, and she never showed up today, so I have to give her a call and see what's going on. Probably fire her before she even started, because it's super unprofessional. Hi. <laughs> Were you planning on showing up to work today? Well, I called in sick, actually. 
You can't call in sick on your first day, Eden. <laughs> Actually, today was not my start date, so. Oh, when was it? I would let you know. Will we? Well, I make my own rules anyway, so you're 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 gonna do just fine here. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm getting everything wet. Okay, that's enough weirdness for today. Cause these days, I've been doing things my way. I can't hide away any of these out of my face. You know I got it made. Yeah. Things been going my way. Hi, that's my oh, brother. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Thanks, I'm grabbing some plates and forks for no one. Bye. Okay, these next two, they're called the Natasha Wet. But normally it comes in like a pale blue, really pretty, like almost teal color. But we had a lady custom order it and she said her daughter likes like burgundy color. So we painted this one navy. So I'm gonna customize like a completely different flower arrangement that normally comes in the Natasha in like a custom burgundy palette. Um, and I swapped some flowers out. Also, this one was named after our cousin Natasha because we made it for her birthday and people love this one like between this one and the garden of eden that one was named after my best friend and that's like the number one bestseller okay so these two boxes are both going to the same people but i want to kind of make them a little bit different i also like putting all my flowers that i'm making for each box like on the table so i know exactly what i'm gonna use okay so don't mind the mess in the back but this is how they came out very cute very full I've been cleaning up as I go, but this is like the aftermath of just five arrangements. So now we have a photo shoot with each one of our lovely girls here. I'll show you how we take our pictures. Like, insanity. I'm obsessed! Okay, so these were all of today's orders. These are forever flowers, so they last like three years, and they're real roses, but they've been preserved. And these are forever flowers too. Look at how cute they are. And yes, I made every single one of these arrangements, except that purple one. My sister made that one. But how pretty. Okay, so before I can make my final uh, delivery, I have to stop at the flower warehouse, and hopefully they're open because they close at four and it's 3.38, and I love cutting shit really close so whenever we need flowers we'll come either here or Gerald's place and right now I only needed one thing but I'm probably gonna be leaving with five unnecessary items because they just have really 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 pretty items here and they're so fresh these are one of my favorites these are cappuccino roses I think I'm gonna get one of these too literally happens all the time. I went in for one thing and I came back with a bucket full of delicious flowers. Look at how pretty these cow lilies are. Like I can't. And these dahlias. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me kind of run a small little flower shop. Before I go, I do want to say that I am super, super, super grateful that we're even able to like run this small little flower shop because COVID has wiped out so many small businesses and the fact that we're even still open and busy is the biggest blessing. I want to say thank you to all the people that support us. And if you live in Arizona or have a loved one in Arizona you want to send flowers to, I did include a little discount code in my description and the website where you go on to our website whatdefloorsaz.com and place your order and send somebody some flowers and brighten their day. Nothing makes me happier than flowers and I work with flowers now every day for the past since November so every day for the past 10 months I've had flowers in my hands so I mean and I would even still love to be sent flowers like every time I get flowers like makes me the happiest person in the world so send someone flowers make their day. Help me make their day. Also be nice to small businesses. Sometimes we get so caught up in thinking that smaller businesses operate like huge corporations and normally it's just one or two people running the show so just be more mindful about how you treat small businesses this has given me a really 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 different perspective on how to handle like something that like might have not gone my way with a small business or me being unhappy with a small business now I understand how much work gets put into you know a product or a service so before you write a nasty Yelp review before you tell all your friends about like a bad experience 
experience that you had with a small business. Just keep in mind that everybody has their bad days and it's not a huge corporation you're working for. But just know that words on the internet can really, really harm a business. Just contact the business. Nine times out of 10, they will resolve it directly with you. That's my two cents on that. And now I'm gonna go deliver some flowers. If you guys like this video, let me know in the comments if you wanna see the flower shop a bit more on my Trisha Tuesdays. And I'll see you next Tuesday. Bye.